Hey, how you doing, CrossFit Fort Vancouver family? Coach Colin here, coming from the Mac Shack. We have April 10th, Friday's workout. Uh, a little whiteboard briefing for you guys today. So today's workout, four rounds for time, consisting of three minutes of work, followed by a minute of rest. So each round is a total of four minutes, where you're gonna head out the door and run 400 meters, and then when you come back, however long it takes you in the remaining amount of time in that three minutes, you're gonna go through max devil's presses. Before we focus on that, let's talk about the warm-up. Easy warm-up today, just a 400 meter run. Uh, if you can't run, just think about uh, equivalent distance on a rower or a bike. If you're not quite sure how far to run, 400 meters is about one square block or no longer than a minute out and a minute back based off of your running abilities. If you imagine if we're at the gym and run, run into the black mailbox, for some athletes that could be as fast as 45 seconds out to that black mailbox and back or uh, a little bit on the slower end close to a minute so no more than a minute out and then a minute back to gauge that distance when you finish that we're going to go through a little DROM a little dynamic range of motion so just a couple of ideas to get us prepped for that movement could be some leg swings right forward and backwards both legs right we can go through some toe touches Right. We could go through some lateral hops, forward and backward hops, warm up those calves, right? some knee huggers, open up those hips. You could go into a standing pigeon. Right? We can go into a down dog, into a cobra. Lots of ideas at your disposal for your DROM. After that, we're going to focus on some devil's press practice. Right, two options for you guys for the majority of you. It could be a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Right, devil's press consists of basically a burpee, and then you pop tall and take that object to a complete lockout position over your head. Right, we're only thinking about one dumbbell or one kettlebell today, so a couple options with that devil's press. Right, hands, one hand on the outside, one hand on that dumbbell, chest to the ground, pop up, bring that. Dumbbell between and finish with the arms, hips, and knees locked out at the top. Switch sides, right? So set it on the ground. Other hand, chest to deck, hop up, pop, and lock, right? That is more of that snatch version or swing version. So it's tracking in between your legs. Another option is to go on the outside like a clean and jerk. Same thing, chest to deck. But then I keep that dumbbell outside, bring it to my shoulder, and then lock out at the top. Alternate sides. Pop and lock, arms, hips, knees, locked out at the top with that bicep being close to the ear. Think about brace that core. Option if we have a kettlebell is don't worry about holding onto that when you get into that burpee portion, right? Chest to the ground, pop tall, and then into a kettlebell snatch. Back down to the ground, hop to the other side, burpee, switch arms, kettlebell snatch, arms, hips, knees locked out at the top. So there's a couple versions of your devil's press practice. When we get into the nitty gritty of this workout, again, 400 meters, you should have used that warm up to kind of give you an idea how far to run. Uh, if for any reason that we can't run today, you have the option to sub out a machine of your choice for the equivalent distance or time. So it could be rowing 400 meters or it could be riding the bike for two minutes, all right? However long it takes me when I come back, finish with those devil presses, that's the number that we're counting at the end of each round. Maybe at the round one, I get 16, right? So try to stay consistent across that board, shoot for that number, you're gonna have four numbers, so the number of total reps at the end of each round. Make the most of that one minute rest. Think about a good, healthy breathing pattern so you can recover, and then get after it on that run again, and then back to the devil's press. We hope you enjoy that workout. At the very end, for our cool down, we have that down dog, and also into a cobra. Down dog, hips high, head through, and then I can stretch cobra, hips down, arms are locked out, and then last but not least, 
good old fashioned couch stretch. I could use a couch at my house. I could use that wall, kick that foot up, stay an upright torso, feel that stretch for the quad. Make sure you give each side some equal loving. So that is your April 10th Friday workout. Thanks for hanging in with us and enjoy your weekend.